What's going on everybody? Rob here. I broke, I don't want to say I broke news, but I broke wind of the story. Ha, <laughs> broke wind, right? Of this story about the Arizona groundwater and how the Saudis been stealing. Basically, it's not stealing that what they're doing is stealing, but they're taking the Arizona groundwater and they're using it to water the alfalfa plants. Here's more of the story, but then we're going to talk about it as it's going along. With the Southwest in the middle of a decades-long mega drought, states are facing the drought. biggest water crisis in generations. Well, in tonight's Eye on America, we head back to Arizona, where earlier this year we reported on back four to Arizona. Own farms that are draining the state's water supply. CBS's Listen. Ben Tracy reports officials are now working to cancel those controversial leases. This was your well. This was my well. And now you got nothing. Nothing but dust. Arizona cattle rancher Brad Mead says his well went dry. You can toss a rock here and it's, it, it's gone. Because of his neighbor's Now this is an American cattle rancher, an Arizona cattle rancher. It's run with by no Fondamonte, water to feed his owned by one of the largest dairy companies in Saudi Arabia. It grows alfalfa here to feed cattle back in the Middle East. It's illegal to grow it in Saudi Arabia because it you uses heard that right, so much in Saudi Arabia. So when you look out there and you see all that green, what do you think? I see uh, money leaving America. I see water getting depleted. It's pure insanity. Arizona Attorney General Chris it's Mays, a Democrat, to grow in says Fondamonte bought so vast water, tracts of land in western Arizona where there water. are no regulations on how much water can be pumped out of the ground, so the state doesn't monitor it. Fondamonte also leases thousands of acres money from the state America. itself. Deals approved by state officials no longer in office. Fondamonte pays nothing for the water itself. We cannot afford to give our water away, frankly, to anyone, let alone the Saudis, for free. As we talked, we saw a series of trucks hauling dried alfalfa Six off of one acres. of the state-owned properties. Six thousand so acres. cows in Saudi Arabia are essentially drinking Arizona water. Correct. The scale of the problem They do is not get a water above. bill to I mean, that is grow this alfalfa. It is mind-boggling. Mays says Arizona's cities, including Phoenix, will need that water as they face potentially drastic cuts from the drought-ravaged Colorado River. Fondamonte declined our request for an interview. What it's doing is not illegal, but since our story first aired, the state revoked approval for two in additional desert, Fondamonte in wells and is considering canceling some of its leases on state-owned land when they expire next year. It is a scandal that the state of Arizona allowed this to happen. This is scary. It shouldn't be happening and it needs to come to an end. For Eye on America, Ben Tracy, Vicksburg, Arizona. Two more wills. Considering, they need to cancel them. It's considering canceling them, but they need to cancel them ASAP if it's they're worried about potential water crisis for, they said, Phoenix. It's a scandal. You heard it right there. It's a scandal. This should have never happened. They need to investigate who got paid off to allow a different country to come in and pillage our groundwater. There was, they paid nothing for that water that they fed these cattle for years in Saudi Arabia and the American cattle farmers are going bankrupt. Somebody needs to really step in and not only stop it like immediately and go, okay, they got to wait for the leases, but I'm sure a judge can stop the leases or you want the land lease the land but we can stop your water because that's a national emergency talk to you later subscribe like and share